we're still at Ascot. It's the Grovesner Casino Lodge Stakes, a one mile four. Another group three, this time for the three rolls and up. The ground is good. Blood Harvest, four to one. Moral Disorder, seven to two. Phantom, ten to three. Asari Naim, ten to one. Dirty Devil, 100 Sport, Paul O'Neill. Putting and Cruz of Vinny Gerard, 15 to two. Quick draw for Mark Jones. Viana Do Costello for D. Thompson. Cado Fern and George Formby, both for Davy Lad. Kiping Slick, 11 to two for Vinny Gerard. Pacific Pet for C. Beckwith. Perfection for Paul O'Neill. Torren for D. Thompson at 20. Love for Alex Cherry. 15, go to post in the Groves and the Casino Lodge Stakes. Over a mile and four. And we're off. Great break from Quick Draw, who's quick off the mark there, but Dirty Devil and both horses from one and two have burst out to lead well on the rail. In the middle of the track, Kiping Slick is trying to get to his usual spot out in front and does just that from Vienna do Costello. Kiping Slick was pushed out to get the front and is now there by about a head of the Anna Costello. Phantom, the derby winner, is lurking in third and now just being grabbed hold of to not go too quickly in chase of these two who are going to do the running for each other with Viana do Costello now sticking her nose in front of Kiping Slick. Phantom is in third. Blood Harvest, I think Blood Harvest was second in the arc last week, is sitting in fourth. Dirty Devil is sixth. Kado Fern 5 on the outside. In between them, Torren, Pacific Pet, Quick Draw still there. George Formby just out the back behind them. Moral of the Sword is in that pack somewhere as well. 20 Love, Asari Naim, Putty and Cruise and Perfection looking a bit of trouble at the back. But there's still a long way to go. And it's Kiping Slick now taking charge of duties. But Viana do Costello, these two definitely performing pace making duties for each other here. And that normally. Ends up with the front two staying on well and running good races, so we'll see from there. But it's Kiping Slick now back in front by a nose. Blood Harvest has pulled through into third, but is about to give up that to Quick Draw, but has not given it up just yet, being ridden along to try and get into the race. And there's a few of them in that middle peloton now being pushed along to really get closer. Torren is the one that's picked up the pace nicely and starts to chase the leading two who are now being ridden along to make a real challenge of this and it's Kiping Slick from Viana do Costello nose to nose as they have been the whole race and these two are pounding their way up towards the finish line here at Ascot Torrens run has petered out a little bit as Phantom the Derby winner starts to motor up the rail. Quick Draw is also rapidly improving down the far outside. Kiping Slick is starting to struggle now as Vienna do Costello goes on at the two furlong pole and has a nice kick and goes clear by about two lengths. Vienna do Costello has done well here and has nicked a couple of lengths off him and is flying up the Ascot Hill. Who would have seen this? Vienna do Costello just sat off Kiping Slick and took the first run. Well, what's the jockey doing? Don't take a look. Get up the hill, man. And Viana do Costello, they're charging her. Viana do Costello, moral disorders coming late. His specific pet, but Viana do Costello holds on. What's the jockey doing? Just decided, oh, I'll just have a peek round and stop riding. Good enough, though. More than good enough. Good effort to be able to get in front that whole way. Kiping Slick gave a nice toe. The, those two, as I said, those two just taking the turns to pace make and it gave Bernardo Costello a real chance to kick off the bend and get home. Moral Disorder was second for Leon van Rensburg. Pacific Peps third for Seebeck with great run from that one. Torren was fourth for D. Thompson and Blood Harvest was fifth for Leon van Rensburg.